Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Alice? Alice, come prophesy, my friends. We're so excited. Oh, praise God. My name is Alice, and, and I'm here to uh, just speak a word of encouragement to the May babies. I wanna, and those who got married in uh, May. But uh, first, we're going to talk about the May babies. If you could please stand up and remain standing. Maybe. Oh, ooh, look at them. Look at them all. <laughs> okay. So, um, as I was praying into this, uh, God showed me a picture of a cake. And um, I was like, okay, God, what are you saying? Uh, and he highlighted the ingredients of, of a cake. And um, he talked about or what he put in my heart was, um, you know, how the cake, um, it has different ingredients, which are so important. And, but there's one tiny ingredient that is um, salt. In every cake recipe that I've ever baked, uh, there's always salt that is needed. And um, it may be overlooked because most of the times it's probably like a quarter teaspoon of salt. And um, sometimes you think that you can do without it, but God says, well, but the recipes always call for it. And it's important because salt um, not only um, is, does, it, does it help to bring out the flavor or the sweetness of a cake, but it also is a preservative. It draws out the moisture in a cake. And so um, the cake stays um, fresh longer. And so as I was praying into this, um, God just wanted me to encourage you and tell you that you're beautiful. Everything about you is beautiful. He loves everything about you. And he's put in all those ingredients in you. The way he created you is so beautifully woven. And he intricately put you together uh, for just a tasty you to the world. And so, uh, and so I just want to encourage you and tell you, you know, even the, the things that you probably look at yourself and you probably would overlook about yourself, those are so important to God and he intricately put them in you because he loves you and he knows he can use them uh, for his glory. And so it's part of your story. Those ingredients in you are blended together by God to make a tasty you. That's all I can say. And so for those around them, if you could please just um, uh, lay your hands on them and just pray over them and just uh, speak a word of tastiness to them. Lord, I just bless my friends and I pray, oh God, that the, each and every flavor that you bless them with, oh God, would be a taste, would be tasty to the world, oh God, and that they would look at themselves in you and say, yes, I am tasty in God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, 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 amen. Okay, so uh, by the way, I would love to, t um, to, to share this verse. Uh, Romans, 20, uh, Romans 8, 28 in the Passion Translation, it says uh, to the May babies, so we are convinced that every detail of our lives is continually woven together to fit into God's perfect plan of bringing good into our lives. For we are his lovers who have been called to fulfill his designed purpose. Amen? Amen. That's for you, May babies. Take it. And uh, anyone else who wants to take it. And uh, so uh, for those who found love and decided to um, uh, compound it uh, in May, would you please stand up? Anyone in the room? No? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's, there, there, is there anyone else? Oh, oh, just, oh, okay. Sorry, I can't. Oh, there, there, we, there we go. Sorry, the lights are too, too bright, so I couldn't see. But anyway, for the May lovers, I have a word for you. 
I have a word for you. And uh, God, um, God put this word in my heart about seasons. And um, he, um, the, the, the word that God gave me was about just uh, enjoying every season of your life. Now, you know, it, if we look at the natural, uh, there's usually spring, there's uh, also summer, there's also winter, and there's also fall, right? And in marriage, uh, we go through all those seasons. Now, hopefully, we, we, the fall and the winter are short, uh, and so we can enjoy the spring and the summer, but, you know, it, it just happens. Uh, but God is saying to you, lovers, that um, he is present in every season of your life. And he sustains you. Like, uh, if I thought about a tree. Like, a tree during the winter time, uh, it's, it never dies. The different kinds of trees, the way God has created them, uh, they're still able to stay alive. They may, you may not see much happening with the, the leaves or anything, but the, the tree stays alive. And then when springtime comes, it flourishes and, you know, it, uh, the leaves, uh, you know, grow out and everything. But um, what God was saying is that even though, uh, you know, there, there are different seasons, um, there could be tough seasons, there could be good seasons, and every marriage is different. It could be, you know, uh, go, you could be going through a tough season or a, a, a great season. But God is saying um, that, you know, in every season, he's there to sustain you. Just like that tree, even when it goes through the fall and the winter and the leaves grow out, it, it doesn't die. And God, God is right there with you and he's encouraging you and he loves everything about your marriage. And um, the, the, the verse that, I, that was highlighted to me was actually in Genesis chapter 8 and verse 22. And it talks, uh, this, this is right after the flood, uh, you know, uh, when the flood had happened. It was God's promise. Uh, it, said, it says, as long as the earth endures seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. And that's how committed God is to your marriage. And so even as you continue to love and honor each other, as you continue to grow in your marriage, as you uh, weed through these seasons, um, God is with you. He's encouraging you. And he's for your marriage. And, um, you know, find ways to grow in him. And, uh, you know, the first love, you know, when you first saw your lover and, you know, the, nothing else mattered, you know, that's what God is wanting to cultivate in your marriage each and every day. So I just want to bless these marriages. So if you're around them, if you could please just lay your hands on them and speak a blessing over them. Father, I just want to thank you for these dear ones, oh God. I thank you because you love each and every one of them and you care so much for each and every one of their marriages, oh God. I just pray, oh God, your favor, your love, and your goodness over them. And Lord, even as they uh, weed through the, the, the seasons of each and every, uh, in their marriage, oh God, that Lord, they would see your hand and that you would sustain them in every way, oh God. We speak blessings in Jesus' name.